Good morning guys. Cloudy this morning. We are on a quest to find somewhere to eat. Some kind of breakfast. We're not fancy an Asian breakfast, we're fancy something like eggs and bacon or something like this. Check out this little street in the center of Prachuk, Prachuk Kirikan. It's the place. Looking very authentic. Very authentic time. Wooden houses, shops on the ground floor. King's birthday today. Little street art there. And no 7-Elevens. Only maybe one or two in the whole city or little town. Check out the street art here. <laughs> now, guys, who? The boy with the stick or the monkey? Bang. Don't get so too angry. The revenge from the monkey and he attacks. Now we are at Prachup Kirikan Monkey Monkey Temple. There's a hill up there and the temple is right on top of the hill. Let's go there, check out the view and check out the monkeys. Anna, don't show them the food because they will steal it. These monkeys cannot be trusted. Look at them. Now look at him. Look at him down there. What are you doing, you geezer? He's smelling. Oh, she. She's smelling the food. Let's not stop here for too long. He smells it. These monkeys, aggressive, demanding. Let's go. And they know you've got food, Anna. He knows you've got food, they've seen it. They've seen it, they know it. You better, you better give them food right now. No, 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 no. Just drop it. Drop it, she'll pick it up. She'll take the lot. She wants the lot. Man, these monkeys, so aggressive they are, it's unbelievable. You bloody animals. And monkey crap everywhere. No wonder the boy wants to hit her with a stick. I, I would. So arrogant they are. Oh my God. Just drop the food, Anna. Drop it. I'm scared of these bloody monkeys. I've got none, mate. I've got zero. She's so f***ing fat. Now look at it. She's taking it. Oh! What are you looking at? Anna, give him some. A little bit. He's a bit shy. Guys, you got food everywhere. So bloody fat he is. Okay, let's go. Man, this geezer, look at the size of him. Anna in the monkey world, part three. She wants to feed them all. They're too hungry. Don't show them the food. Don't show them the food. He's got his mummy. Plus the pigeons. Man, we want to go, all right? We're not interested in you sitting here asking for food. I bloody hate these monkeys. Now, guys, you've seen it. These monkeys, they want to follow you everywhere. They think that they drop the bag. They think you've got the food because you can smell it. No, 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 no. There's one behind you. 
<laughs> he wants a rape, yeah. Okay, guys, just drop it on the floor, love. Please do it. They smell the food. He thinks you've got it. You've got none. Yeah, I've got none. My, my hand is dirty, so... Just wash it. You've got tissues. Yeah. Monkey massage. Oh yeah, it's got more down there. First class treatment he gets. The bloody animal. Prochup Khan from the hilltop. So that's the beach where we went down to yesterday. And that's the beach where we went to the um, seafood restaurant. So Anna, quick interview. Yeah. How's the monkeys? Yeah, they're great when you're watching them from the car. Yeah? But when you approach them, it's like they want to kill you. Right, guys. So, National Geographic, monkeys, good. Cute. Little fluffy animals. As soon as they smell the food, they see the food that you've got, yeah. basically you're buggered. You're screwed, big time. And they will follow you and stalk you until you spray your hands with tissues and spray, anti-mosquito spray. Yeah, I had to, to wash my hands. So yeah. They follow me everywhere. We found out the monkeys hate the mosquito spray. They hate it. So you gotta kill the food smell first. And this is the answer. This is Prachup Kirikan, monkey temple 101 guide, survivor guide. Look at this view, amazing. The cloudy day today. But I mean, it would be very, very hot if it wasn't. So let's get to the top. Get the lookout from the spot. So, guys, where you see the mountains, so you're looking straight over those mountains. There is Burma or Myanmar, 20 kilometers from the border here. You see some rain there. And this is Prachup Kirikan. Hawaiian trip is close to the end. We have a, we're driving back to Pattaya and uh, we're having a stop here in Samut Songkram uh, province. We're walking towards the um, famous floating market here. You can see the river here, very nice and beautiful. So, it's a lot of traffic jams today, big holiday, everybody driving around everywhere. It's difficult to find a car parking space, as you can see, 
people trying to park and go. So um, uh, yesterday we went to one of the beaches around Huajin. It was jam-packed, loads of people. We paid 20 baht to park in. It was like a beach, probably like 20 minutes away drive from uh, Huajin. And um, we arrived there, it was like full of people. It was 4 p.m. and we, uh, we were quite tired. So we thought, bugger that. So we just uh, decided to go, go back to the hotel, have some rest because we were driving around everywhere for the last few days. Well, I've been driving. Anna's been sitting next to me, just enjoying herself. Um, and um, last night we went for, um, for some dinner and then we went to uh, Sicara night market in Hua Hin. It was quite nice, uh, full, of, uh, full of nice uh, little shops selling all kinds of different art, handmade stuff, jewelry, there was food there, obviously. Um, it was like street performance, street art. There were like uh, three guys showing, uh, showing um, some sort of like a circus performance, showing magic, entertaining the crowd, showing all kinds of tricks, jumping up and down. So there was, uh, there was quite an interesting show quick show then we went uh, shop around they were selling a lot of loads of clothes some vintage stuff I don't know like handmade toys so it's quite interesting if you're in Hoa Hin it's like a weekend market I'm not too sure probably it's open like Friday to Sunday if you're there it's definitely a place to visit have some food maybe you can buy something like a t-shirt or a local craft and uh, yeah, the whole place was quite funky. And uh, then we went back, some sleep and some breakfast, brunch, and uh, here we are in um, Samut Songkram province, probably like 10 minutes away from the, from the market, just walking slowly, enjoying ourselves, getting closer. So we'll show you guys what's happening down there. So here's the floating market. Boats are everywhere. You have to go through the, to the street there. Ampawa floating market. Now we've got our safety vests. We're on a boat, getting ready for a tour around the, around the canals. Hope it's gonna be fun. Are you ready? Did you fasten your seatbelt? <laughs> Are you excited? finish our boat ride we decided not to stop for eating because it's too crowded it's too bloody hot and uh, got to wait for food for a long time so we are uh, gonna jump back in the car 
hopefully we're gonna get back to Pattaya within 25 hours. No, within a few hours. And yeah, so Anna, how was your boat ride experience? Is this an interview? No, you can hold it. <laughs> it was a nice one. Um, what did you like the most? Well, I don't want to. I don't want to make it like a you know cultural thing and cultural story, but uh, you get to see how like how people treat like rivers differently. I mean, I'm used to people like going on a holiday, you know, and uh, staying by the river and by the beach. Yeah. And Thai people are like, I mean, for them it's like like a road for us. It's um, it's a tool they use. It's not something something like it's not something you look at yeah it's not something you just enjoy it's it's a tool that they use yeah. to do stuff completely different uh, completely different um, approach the market. the market crowded yeah too hot yeah, they call it come in the morning come yeah. come like during the sunset because during the day it's like crazy hot probably and there is like no wind at all so um, yeah. yeah we're like um, yeah, the best time to come, guys, is uh, one or two hours before the sunset, so you can uh, so you can really like survive. I mean, now it's like a wet season, so most probably it's like uh, more humid than normally. Uh, if you come here during like December winter time, surely it's going to be much better. I mean, it's not really that bad. I mean, you, you know, today's perfect. You know, it's just one hour before the sunset now. Uh, it's a bit cloudy, so it was actually quite nice and refreshing to take a boat tour. Uh, you know, you get the wind and you can see like loads of things around. It's a uh, quite interesting experience. The, the market overall, I think if it was not the big holiday as it is today, I mean, as we're walking, you just can see the, the traffic is just terrible. Everybody's just waiting to find a parking space. You know, most probably we're gonna wait in the car at least 30 minutes just to get out from here and yeah so this is what um, the big holiday in Thailand looks like everybody is driving somewhere I mean if you think this place is for tourists for foreigners it's not Thai people they love uh, visiting all these kind of spots they love to eat they like to take the, the boat rides they like to shop they like to try new things as well as we do so um, it's 99% uh, for, for Thai people and you know you see a few foreigners here and there uh, but yeah it's definitely a place to visit and uh, if you uh, if you come to Thailand to visit and lay down on the beach only you know it's just one experience but then if you want to broaden your boundaries up and to see the rest of the country you know this uh, could be a nice uh, little uh, stopover on the way to uh, Hoa Hin or probably if you drive down even further you know it's just uh, as long as you uh, past Bangkok. Uh, this province is called uh, Samut Songkram, so you can just uh, have a quick stopover and just visit this uh, market. So just check the time schedule. Also the, the train, the train uh, station market is uh, right around the corner, so most probably you can uh, visit both places at the same time. So uh, I hope you did enjoy it. So now we are coming closer to our car, so we're gonna jump in and uh, drive towards Pattaya so we really hope that you love this uh, little uh, vlog trip tour experience with us and uh, don't forget to hit like and subscribe and you know feel free to uh, ask any questions that you have about the tour about places to visit about uh, our recommendations uh, we'll try to uh, put as many location links as possible for of the places that we uh, visited so you can see it um, under this video and uh, so yeah, tell us about your experience if you have visited these places before. What do you think about it? Uh, what do you think about Hua Hin and this part of Thailand in general? And uh, we'll be uh, glad to uh, uh, get in touch with you. So thank you for watching and uh, see you in the next video.